Hey Eric, uh, just taking a look at your data here, and I apologize, I thought I'd responded to you on this, but uh, it looks like just sort of a, a wonky way that they have of distributing the, the data sets. So the first thing I wanted to mention is uh, I grabbed the, the county poly underscore SPN, which should be a uh, state plane north sector, I think. Um, if the NAT83 state plane coordinate system is not split up, it does not split up Kentucky into two units north and south, then they have within this site, I've seen north and south referred to a few times. So the first thing we'll do is uh, make sure that this county polygon layer is in the right place. Uh, to do that, I usually just use a reference layer from the Open Layers plugin. Drop that in, see if we're in the right place here. And yes, we are in the right place. So then uh, I'd already downloaded the, the M56 quad uh, from that site. I think that was the one you had specified. I'm um, just going to try to add it as a raster layer because it's a TIFF. It should be detectable. Um, but I think we're going to have a problem with it. Yeah, it's not showing up. It's probably showing up somewhere completely different. Uh, and the reason we're having a problem with it is it doesn't have the world file in the same folder as this TIFF. Um, so the the basic problem with that is actually I don't know where the heck the thing went. The basic problem with that is that the TIFF file itself doesn't define the projection, uh, and QGIS doesn't really have any way of knowing where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to remove it and then do a few things on the side here. Uh, I downloaded from the the site front page. There was a, a link to a whole batch of world files that came out. When I selected the south option, it came out with this. So I'm going to get that M56 file. The TFW represents a world file. There's M56. So I'm going to copy that and go back, put it in this folder. And then hopefully it's going to drop into the right place. And we will find out in just a moment. And we still have nothing, so that leaves one more possibility, and that is that this is currently defined incorrectly. So we'll go into Properties. All right, so the world file is giving you the location of each of the corners of that quad, but it's giving them to you in a coordinate system that's different than this. Um, this got defined automatically for some reason. I presume this has happened in yours as well. So uh, basically, you're in Layer Properties, go to the General section, and then Specify Coordinate Reference System. Uh, this was pretty clearly labeled as um, Kentucky. Uh, I think NAT83 state plane feet rather than meters. Uh, so we're going to find that projection. We'll search Kentucky by name. Uh, these are the options we get here. We know it's in the southern zone, uh, but that's standard NAT83 Kentucky South. We're going to go NAT83 Kentucky South feet US. Uh, so that we've selected. We'll hit OK. Hit Apply. And there we go. Looks like it's in the right place now. Um, so I will just make this transparent so we can be sure. And we'll zoom in on one of these edges to see if it's lining up with features on the ground. And indeed it is. Yep, uh, that should get your topo incorrectly. So to recap, uh, you need to grab the TFW file that's appropriate, put it in the same folder as the TIFF, and then once you've brought it in with that TFW in the appropriate folder, adding the TIFF to Quantum GIS, then you need to check the coordinate reference system and make sure that it's specified as uh, Kentucky State Plane Feet, NAT83. Um, that's a hell of a runaround, but it ultimately gets the data in the right place.